Hi, everybody. Let's get started. We are doing Night in the Woods Yoga today. And because I have an amazing soundtrack, which is available for purchase, or you can go to the link below to find it on Spotify, we're going to have that playing in the background as we go through our practice today. So this is Night in the Woods Yoga. It is based off an amazing video game and it has a lot of sage advice and a lot of really funny reality stuff that kind of brings us into where we are right now. The idea of tying video games to yoga and especially the music, I think in the sun there's a lot of relaxing music and a lot of thoughtfulness as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to have first a reading. So find yourself a comfortable seat. For today in yoga, you're only going to need a blanket and if you don't, you don't necessarily need it. We also have a mat or a floor. This is going to be more of a traditional yoga. So if you want to practice chair I will provide those modifications as well if your body does not want to be on the ground trust me that's totally fine and listen to what your body says because again in yoga we want to have fun especially with like the costumes and stuff stay up here so you don't do that so <laughs> I tried I'm gonna get really hot so the idea is if I'm sweating then that means that you're sweating too right but we're not gonna work that hard. again take breaks if you need to all right, so easy seat. Take a couple of deep breaths in. And exhale. Inhale again. Big exhale. Let me do a couple of lion breaths. Lion breaths are really funny, mostly because you feel like you're embarrassing yourself, but the good news is that you guys are out there and I can't see you. So what you do in lion breaths? Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, not only do you force it out, you stick your tongue out, and then you also roll your eyes back in your head all at the same time. So again, I'll do one up here for you. This is a lion's breath. Get ready for the most awesome blackmail blackmail video ever. So <sighs> that's a lion breath. <laughs> so everybody take one cleansing breath in. Get ready for a line on the inhale and exhale. One cleansing breath in. And now for real, guys, this time, inhale and lion. It's really good if you're frustrated. I usually use the lion's breath. It became a running joke at work that we would all just go up to our boss and go, ah, you know, like kind of the agratsuko kind of thing with the metal. So if we want to do an agratsuko, Make sure this is one of those moves, guys. All right, next we're gonna roll our shoulders back and forth. In yoga, it's all about balance. So when you roll back, make sure you do all four angles. So up, let's go back, down and forward, up, back, down and forward. Maybe tie it to the breath, inhaling as you lift up, back, exhale down forward inhale up back exhale down and forward a couple more on your own maybe you just go back to the full circles if that feels better or maybe you keep exaggerating to really feel those shoulder blades I'm gonna say this like every time you see All right, now we're gonna come to stillness and then do our shoulder rolls the other way. So back, up and forward, just a couple. Power feels good right now. Now the next time you go back, do all four points. So back, up, forward, and down. Keeping your spine straight, back, up, forward, and down. Go back, maybe inhale coming up, forward, and then exhale going down. And back inhale up forward exhale down back inhale up and forward exhale down and back a couple more drum pace all right see who else is here 
Okay, come back to stillness. We're going to do one shoulder shrug, so bring those shoulders really up close to your ears, really tight, like squeeze everything and then drop. Do it again, squeeze everything up and then drop it, shake everything out, give it a little shimmy. Okay, now we're going to raise our hands up to the sky. And then keep them wide as you come back down, we're going to do one more. Slowly raising your arms up, feeling those shoulders now that they're a little bit looser. Hands at the top, pause here. Roll those shoulders back and down if you can. Again, only do what's comfortable for you. Now draw those shoulders in. In yoga, this is actually considered a mudra, which is just the sign that hands make. It's not actually for your pose, but if you want it to be prayer, we're going to come into our thoughtful portion to start yoga. For today, we are themed with Night in the Woods. And I am cosplaying as May, who is a troubled teenager who had issues in college and comes home to an empty town, which I think is really appropriate right now because we are all back home with nowhere to go. We can't be at school, but we don't feel like we fit in. Things have changed and we didn't really want any of this, but we're stuck here. And that's really what Night in the Woods is all about, the feeling of being stuck, of the world changing, but you're just in one place. It's very frustrating, depressing. And uh, May says in her journal that everything feels bad. I hope that you don't feel that way, but if you do, you are not alone. In fact, May definitely agreed with you. And Lori, who was another teen, teen stuck at home, she said, this entire place is royally messed up and nobody cares. I wanted someone to notice that things aren't okay. This town is like a horror movie that never stops. And it's not even a good one. And then May says later in the game, obviously the world is seriously screwed up, but we're all gonna die if we don't start living. So with that, we're gonna come to our intention. Maybe your intention today is just to continue living, to be in the moment. Maybe there's a prayer or a thought. And if nothing else comes to you, I will give you the intention of living in the moment, of starting to live now, and enjoying what you have, which is your mat and yourself, for the next 50 minutes. We're going to be here, and the world will continue beyond us, and the world will be there when we come back. So now, we have our hands in prayer position. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale. One more inhale. And seal that intention with an exhale. Let your breath come back to normal. And if your eyes were closed, flood them back open. If your eyes are up, put them down. And we're going to get started on getting some movement going. So first off, we did our shoulders, but we have not done our neck. And I know my neck is tense, but I don't know about you guys, but this is a big one for me. So first, we're going to start by looking right, or whichever side is your right today. Slowly coming back to center, and looking the other way. Coming back to center. The other way. Back to center. And Come back to center one more time. This time we're going to lean your ear towards your shoulder. On the inhale, lift your head a little higher, and on the exhale, maybe you lean a little more. If you want, you can take that hand on the same side your head is bending and gently rest it on your head. Same on the opposite hand. You can reach it out or down if it creates a stretch in your neck. Or if you like, you can keep your hands down, breathing in and stretching. You can focus on drawing the air through your belly, feeling it flow through your neck in your inhales and your exhales. Slowly release that top hand, bring your other hand back, take your head back to center, a couple stilling breaths here. And you put your hands in your belly and start to feel your breath draw in to fill it up. Good. 
And now on your next inhale, and exhale and put your head to the other side. Perhaps that's enough. Perhaps, again, you raise that hand on the same side and press gently, gently on your head, just with a little bit of extra stretch. On the inhale, raise your head up. And on the exhale, maybe you bend just a little more. Again, that opposite hand can reach out, go down, maybe behind. Whatever works for you, just keep your back straight, your breath slow. Focus on filling up through the throat, down to your diaphragm and belly. A couple more breaths here. Now this is one of my fun ones. Take your hand up and down, and slowly back to center. We're going to do angles. So your head's going to go at a 45 degree angle. So you're going to turn it partially, and then flip it, kind of head to the side. Maybe you roll it back and forth here and find there's usually a crook in your neck somewhere in that angle that's really tight. And again, you can just keep it there. You can use a hand to keep the balance. Find that little crook. Maybe you can paint with your nose. Twist your head with your nose. And find that angle, that circle, where it just sticks. And once you're there, just breathe and relax. Come back to your intention. And Release your hands if they're up, and now roll your head down to the center. Spine is straight, neck is down and relaxed. Maybe you wiggle your head back and forth, or maybe you just let it hang still. Rolling those shoulders back and down. Hands can be on the floor, your hips, whatever is comfortable for you. Maybe on your knees, your shin. Just keep those shoulders back, breathing here. It may feel tighter because your neck is closed. Again, do what's comfortable for you. One more breath here. Now roll your neck to the other direction. Get into that 45 degree angle where you start to feel a little bit of tightness, wherever that is. Maybe again you press with that same hand. Maybe you roll your nose around to see where it's a little bit tighter. And once you find that tight spot, just breathe into it. Filling up from the belly. And then the energy comes through your neck. You can let the spine straighten in. A couple more breaths here. And then lower your hand. And now, if it's comfortable for you, you can do neck rolls, or you can just go back and forth, or you can just come back to your breathing. I get when I roll back this way. It has not been going in a full circle, so today I cannot. Another day may break. Maybe you find what works for you, and that's exactly what you should be. Staying in the moment right now. <laughs> yeah, we all need this. Alright, there we go. Okay, Whew. I'll be still in breath here. Come back to your breath. Back to the music. To your mat. Feel where your bones are sitting, whether it's on the chair or a mat. Feel what's grounded into the earth right now. One more breath in. Now we're going to go into our cat cows. You can remain seated for them, or you can go on to all fours. If your knees are sensitive, this is the time to take your blanket and lay it down and put your knees on it so you've got a little extra padding. On all fours, you're keeping your weight evenly distributed across your entire hand. Your knees should be hip distance apart. Your hand should be underneath your shoulders, shoulder width apart. Full weight even to your toes, the backs of your feet, and your fingertips. First here on the exhale, arching back just like me. Inhale, if you're going into cow, rolling your hips back, looking up if that feels good. Exhale to cat. Inhale to cow. One way to focus on this is you continue those cycles at your own pace, is to lead with your tailbone. To feel like that is guiding your hips to your spine. And every single movement is following your tailbone. 
remembering to breathe here. Exhaling into cat. Inhaling into cow. And as it feels good to you, if you want to welcome some movement in here, you can look to one side or the other, maybe wag in your little tail. Maybe you want to do hip circles. They can be big or they can be small. It's whatever your body wants today. Maybe your thighs are really sore. Maybe your back is really sore from sitting. I feel like I'm sitting a lot more now. I like to do a couple of these. But again, my body wants to do a little back bend here. Generally in yoga, you don't start them this early, but my body really likes it. Good. Do a couple more. All right. You're doing great. And come back to stillness. I like to do hip stretches here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to lift up one leg, kind of like it's a frog pose. So you're lifting it up with your knee bent and your ankle bent, 90 degree angles. And you can just pedal it here, lifting it up and down if that feels good. Or you can do circles guiding with the knee. They can be big again, or they can be small. Maybe they're really massive, whichever way you like. Remember to go the opposite way. Balance is important. Okay, then come back to stillness, keeping it raised. You got this. Now straighten that leg out, reach it back, kicking with the foot so your heel is straight. Pushing down here, maybe you lift your leg here. Lifting with your buns and your leg. Flexing into it. All right, that's enough. Look, we're not going to put it down yet. We're going to cross it over and look towards that toe. So your leg is crossed over. Your hands are still flat. If it feels good, if your neck does not like looking at yourself, <laughs> you don't have to. Now take the toes and sweep them out. If it feels good, you can do another stretch here by bringing your foot to the side in a wide gate kind of pose. Maybe you want to reach up here, do a little balance. You can stay down. I like to actually go down to my forearms. And breathing here. And if you want to go back to all fours or to child's pose, you're welcome to here. Now you can come back. Sweep it in, tuck it under. Maybe you do a couple adjustments here now that you see what's happening. And then we're going to do the other side. So again, you're going to lift up that other side. Keep that foot at a right angle, knee at a right angle. Maybe do some lifts here first. There we go. Okay, now circles. Big or small. Maybe this side is different. How does it feel? What is right for you today? Do the other way. Oop, I'll tell you, mine is a little bit more sore. Okay. One more circle here. Now we're going to lift it straight back, keeping that heel flexed. Pump it here. Lift it up using your buns and your leg. Lift, lift, lift. Look down if you want. That keeps your neck relaxed. Good. And then remember to cross it over. And if you want, you can look at your foot on the other side, keeping your back straight. Sweep it out in front to the side. So you've got your one foot down and back. The other one's reaching out long. You can stand up here and stretch. You will probably even fold over if you want. Keep it here or, like I like to do, just lean into it. And you bring the So I try not to breathe too heavily on the mic. <laughs> I know I'm getting warmed up. I hope you guys are too. All right, now bringing it back in. Ooh, good job. Let's go back in a child's pose. So you've got your knees. Widen them a little bit. Bring your toes in. Sit back onto your feet if this is comfortable for you. And if not, you can just stay where you are or go into a comfortable seat. Now you're lowering your hands down. If this is where you're at, that's fine. If you want to put your head down, you can do that too. When you're breathing here, feel the breath in your back. 
push those hips down. You don't have to physically push them, but feel that they're reaching down towards your feet. Um, stretch forward, fingertips reaching. Keep this in active pose if you want a little extra work. Trying not to muffle you guys. From here, why don't we walk our hands to the right? Now you're getting a side stretch. Breathing into it. This one feels really good. Back to center. And then better walk your hands over to the other direction. Feeling the side stretch the other way. And come back to center. From here, why don't we push our hands and kind of walk backwards? And draw your feet in so you're sitting and kneeling. Again, if this is comfortable for you. If not, you can come to cross-legged position. Whew, I tell you, I'm warm. All right. So now what we're going to do, raise your hands up. And the inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale. Twist to one side. Inhale up. Exhale the other way. Now, if it feels good, I'm actually standing up here. This actually feels kind of cool, so let's try it. Inhaling up, exhaling down, twisting as far or as short as you want, going high or as low as you want. And again, you can do this cross-legged in a chair, breathing on the inhale, going up, exhale, going down. Now we come back here. What we're going to do is we're going to go into camel, if this works for you. So you have to be kneeling up, kneeling up, <laughs> kneeling and staying tall. Hands are going to come back behind you, palms on your hips, just above your butt. And if this feels good, roll those shoulders back. Pull the shoulder blades down, look forward, keeping your neck nice and neutral. Then go into a small back bend, maybe looking up a little. Remembering to breathe here. If this is good and you want to try the next level, and let me tell you, it's difficult, but that's what yoga is all about, trying new things and seeing what your body wants. You can actually lean back and grab your ankles, and then you should be able to let your neck go. If this does not work, or if you're falling, know that your body is doing what needs to be It's okay, nobody's perfect. See if I can get out of this. Tuck your chin in. Stay safe. There we go. <laughs> and now I feel like I need to go back into child's pose. Why don't we do that? Good job, guys. That was super fun. All right, come back up. We're going to go into our first down dog. So if you have a blanket underneath, you might want to get that out of the way now. Your hands are down. You're kind of like in your four legs again. Tuck the toes underneath. Keep your palms with the weight everywhere from the middle of your palms to your fingertips. And your push back into the toes. Lift up. Push your hips towards the sky. Feel like you're tucking your tailbone up, reaching your tailbone up. Heels down. Legs should not be locked. Don't have those knees locked. Keep them nice and loose. Maybe you pedal your feet here. Breathing into it. Your gaze can be at your shins or your ankles. It protects your neck. Your, your arms, you can actually twist the insides of your elbows in, and that'll help to give you a little more stability. All right, come to stillness here. All right, now bring your gaze to the middle of your hands and walk your feet forward. We're going to forward fold. So from here, again, keep those knees so they're not locked. Maybe you grab your opposite arms and start to sway here. So this is a ragdoll pose. Catch your breath. Think about your intention. Maybe you wag your head. Yes, no. Loosen that neck. Don't let any weight go into your head at this point. Not having weight in my head took me a very long time. I wanted to keep that neck tense. And then come to stillness. Maybe drop those hands. Again, they don't have to touch anywhere. They can just be hanging. Or maybe they touch the floor. 
Okay, on an inhale, halfway lift. Straightening your back, hands go to shins or thighs. Roll the shoulders back, so now you're gonna look like this. It's pretty good. <laughs> your gaze should be down in front of you. Straight down. And then exhale, lower. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift, halfway. Exhale, fold. You know where this is going. Inhale, you're going to straighten all the way up, feeling every vertebrae. And your hands can go up. Draw your hands down here. How are we feeling, guys? Halfway there. We're going to start a couple of vinyasas. Vinyasas mean pretty much flow. They're a way of going through and making the body warm. We'll do a couple of those, and then we'll start to cool down again. So we're not going too too crazy here. I'm going to pull my mat out because I need to not touch the wall here. All right, so hands go back up. Going to wide arm. They call this a swan dive, leaning forward, keeping the spine straight as you fold in half. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Now this time you should be at the front of your mat. Plant your hands. Step back with the right foot. Lower the knee. We're in a lunge. Your toes can be bent. You can put them underneath. Straighten up here. Your knee should be at a right angle. Back foot is back. Down. It can be curled under or it can be down. Or if you like, you can stay lifted. All up to you. Stay here. Your hands can be on your knees. If you'd like, raise your hands up. Lower them to your heart. Take a breath in. On the exhale, we're going to do a twist. So you're twisting over the knee that's out. Try to hook that elbow on your knee and maybe you just twist. But if you can, you can just hook over. Breathe in here. One more breath. On the inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, raise your hands up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands planted down again. Tuck the toe under if it's not. Push your other foot. You're going to put your weight in your hands and draw the front foot to the back. And you're going into plank. If you need to, put your knees down here. Lower halfway, just halfway, and you can lower all the way. Lift up your hands, keep them in front of you, and just lift your chest a little. This is baby cobra. You can push at the back of your feet, then lower. If you want, you can do chaturanga here as well. Hands are planted. Feet tuck the toes under. Push yourself up to your knees, and then push back into downward facing dog. Now you can go at your own pace. We're going to take a couple breaths. If you want to do your flows fast, do your flows fast. We'll all meet in the end. I'm going to forward. I'm going to walk forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping your hands up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, folding as you're swan diving down. Plant those hands. Maybe you keep your knees bent. Now this time we're stepping the left foot back and do a left lunge. Again, you can put your knees down here or you can keep it standing if that feels better. 90 degree angle in your front knee. Weight in your back foot. Hands can be on your knees. If you want, raise your hands up on the inhale. Exhale to heart center. Inhale here. Exhale, twist. Opposite direction. Whatever works for you. One more breath here. And the inhale, come back into center. Good job, guys. All right, exhale, hands down. Planting them, putting weight in your hands, tucking your toes under if they're not already there. Pushing that front foot, lifting it back and setting it up for plank. Knees up or down. Lower halfway. Then your knees down. Then your chest. Keeping the elbows in. Lift up your hands, lift up your chest, baby cobra, if you want to do your chaturangas here. And then plant your hands again. Lift into your knees and then push up into down dog. Catch your breath here, or if you need to, go back to child's pose. We've done one on each side, let's do one more a little faster. Here we go, down dog, one more breath. Inhale, stepping forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Planting your hands here, catching your breath. 
Inhale, stepping the right foot back, going into your lunge, high or low lunge, what feels good for you. Hands up and the inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, twist. Hold here. You got this, guys. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward. Folding down, planting your hands, pushing that foot back, going through your flow here, whether it's Chaturanga, maybe Cobra, or you just go back in the child pose. Let's all meet back and downward facing dog. Two breaths here. All right, walking forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, planting down. Stepping back with your left foot, going into your lunge. Knees up, knees down, high or low, doesn't care. What feels good for you, lift your hands up on the inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, fold, or uh, twist. We got this. Good job, guys. Two breaths here. Inhale up. Exhale down. Kick that foot back, going into your chaturanga, your plank. Coming up. And then exhale back into your downward facing dog or child's pose. All right. At this point, we're going to do one more. So I lost count. <laughs> if you want to stay in child's pose, we're going forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half of the lip. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands to lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands, stick your right foot back, because I think this is the one we missed. And then go into your lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, right to center. Exhale, fold down. Plant those hands. Kick your foot back to the last one. Lower yourself down. However, it feels good for you. Inhale up. Exhale, let's all go to child's pose. Couple breaths here. You guys are doing great. Okay, we're going to start cooling down now. You guys have done a fantastic job. We're in child's pose. What you're going to do first is bring your hands in front of you. We're going to go back and do your table pose where your knees and your legs are down, your hands are down. Take a couple of breaths here. Make sure your back is nice and straight. And then we're going to take your right foot, bring it forward. Lift up, so we're kind of like in a mini lunge here. Hands up, bring them down. We're going to move into balances, so this is going to be interesting. Plant your hands and push yourself forward. You have to tuck your foot under, lift up, and then bring your foot in the front. So you're in a forward hold. Lift up all the way. We're going to do these for me. We're going to do tree pose. I'm turning to face you just so you can see what it is. As you're standing up here, find your center. This is mountain pose, hands open, shoulders back. Now go. Feet on the ground. Maybe you pull your kneecaps up a little. Feel the twist of your hips as your muscles spiral in. Rest here. Start to move your weight into your right foot. Feel how it feels just to lift your left to root into that foot. If you like, you can do a little kickstand. Put your foot on your ankle. If you'd like, you can raise it up. Do not put your weight in your knee. If you want, you can also put your foot above your knee. In tree pose, you can find still much more movement. It's what your body wants. Because this is Night in the Woods and it's May, we're going to pretend to be on telephone pole. So for an advanced tree pose, actually try and wiggle. Actually try and stay. See how your body reacts, and if you fall, catch yourself, laugh it off, and try again. 
I call this telephone. Good job, guys. Ooh, okay. And as you catch yourself, come back down. Shake that foot out. Let's do it on the other side. Plant your foot down on the left side. Maybe you just kick stand that right one up. Maybe it's on your shin, thigh. Maybe it's above the knee. What works for you right now? Again, you can stay still in your hands wherever you want. Or if you want to go into telephone pole, start to weave. See how your body feels. Okay. Slowly lower back to earth. Just like me climbing down, why don't we reach up? Take your hands, pretend to grab up and down. Maybe you move the hips, bend one knee, then the other. Feel that climbing motion. Exaggerate with the shoulder blades. Inhale and exhale. Swing your hips, feel the movement in your body. If you'd like, you can try and look up. Or maybe you look down. Two more on each side. And then come to stillness, hands up. Exhale, and keeping a wide swing down to your sides. Let's do one more forward forward. Inhale, come all the way back up. Now we're going to actually do a little balance, one more balance before we finish here. So come to the back of your mat. Bring your shoulders back. Stand on your tippy toes. If you'd like, your hands can get heart center. You can hold as much as you can on your hips. And then walk with your tippy toes very slow steps forward. Very, very slow steps. They can exaggerate. Feel the balance go entirely onto each foot before you switch. Stay on your tippy toes. Keeping your balance on each foot before you switch. For an additional challenge, swing that foot out. Keep the balance. Swing that other foot out. Then land one of the toes. You got this. And if you want to do it one more time, if you're going past them, you can right ahead. Alright. Come back to the back of your mat. Lower your feet down so you've got your weight on your entire foot. Make it as wide as the mat. Lift your hands up. One more sweep down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, hands to heart center. I'm going to go down into a squat. If your hips work, go for it. If your hips don't, just find yourself on your mat. Hold this here for breath. All right, guys. We're almost to the ground. From here, you can lower your hands and fall back on your bum, or you can find whichever way is comfortable for you. Actually, you know what I'm doing right here? Put side to side action first. When your body speaks to you, maybe you can listen. Feels really good. You can be as big or as small as you want in yoga. The bonus points are when you do it like this, but let me tell you, sometimes your body doesn't keep your hands in prayer poses. You're going to come back and like this. Alright, now let's find our way down. Oof. Good job, guys. Let's do wide legged here. Feet are in a V. Actually, let me scooch back for you. There you go, feet in a V. Spine is straight. Hands up. Lower down. Try and do a fold. The idea is to keep your spine straight. Feel the stretch in your lower back. Come back to your breathing. Come back to your intention. Head can be low or can be focused in front of you. One more breath here. And you're up. Take you know, one of your legs in and tuck it in to the upper portion of your opposite leg. Raise your hands up on the inhale. Exhale. Maybe you fold it forward here. It's not about how far you fold, it's about keeping your back straight and feeling the stretch in the back. Again, looking down. Maybe you roll your neck here. Thank your legs for all that hard work they just did. Back up. And then switch sides. Your opposite foot's coming to the top of the opposite leg. 
straight up, heel up, inhale, raise your hands. Exhale, fold forward. Again, keeping your spine straight, focusing on the lower back here, not on how far you can fold over. But if you can fold all the way, good job, guys. You got this. Come back to your breathing. Come back to your intention. One more breath. All right, release. Come back up. Let's get cross-legged here. Now that you're cross-legged, switch legs and <laughs> put the other one on top. Raise your hands up and fold forward here. Slowly come back up. Take a couple breaths here. We are doing fantastic, guys. All right. We're sitting. Now uncross your legs, put your feet in front of you. From here we can go into boat pose where you're actually holding yourself down with your hands by your hips. You lift up your legs together. You can go as high as you want, you can be as straight as you want. My legs are shaking already, so they're not going to be straight. If you can and you'd like, you can raise your hands. Palms facing inward, thumbs reaching up. And try to straighten those legs. For bonus challenge, you can go back and back up and do a little sit ups. Or maybe this is as far as you can go. Now come up all the way, wrap your hands around your legs. Keep the weight on your sit bones, and this is called Love Knot. So you're hugging your knees in, your feet are floating, and you're just on your sit bones. Kind of rock here. Feel how they're feeling. And lower your feet back to the mat. Now put them out just a little bit. Hands out again. This time lower slowly back to the mat. Feel those abs one more time. You got this guy. Slow, 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 slow. And release. Feels so good already, guys. <laughs> we got 10 more minutes though. So from here, we're going to do a little ball. So bring your knees to your chest. Hug them nice and tight. Hands are on your knees when they do the crossover. Keep your head down, your shoulders back. If you want, you can invite some motion here. Walk from side to side or maybe in a circle leading with your knee. Kind of where your body wants to go right now. And maybe invite those big knee circles, guiding with your hands and your knees. One way, or the other. Come back to your breath. Rolling down. Come to stillness here. One more big hug in this time. Lift your head up. Really tight ball. And back down. Knees are still up. If it's comfortable for you, we're going to do twists here. You can just let your knees drop to one side. If you're, if it feels good, and if not, you can guide with your hands. Your hands are going to come out to a T. Look the opposite direction of your feet. Palms should be down. If you want an extra stretch, you can straighten your legs. And again, bonus here, if you'd like, you can tuck your knees back in and lift with your abs here. Twist all the way, come to stillness in the center. And then lower to the other side slowly. Make sure you're not go too fast. And if you like the direction, you can just straighten your legs in some addition to And back to the breath. Taking your body for working so hard. And again, raising your legs up, whichever way works for you. Pulling them in one more time. And then lowering your feet down, but keeping your knees up. Planting your feet, so just close to your hip, we're going to go on the bridge. If this works for you, go right ahead. If it doesn't, just lift, actually let's all do this, just lift your hips a little bit. And then lower them down. Take a breath here, feel that pelvis lift again. 
If you'd like, this is where you can take the time to cover yourself. You're gonna get me. So your legs are out and spread. Maybe you can rock your head back and forth. <laughs> okay. We're going to do a set of body relaxations here. So if you'd like, you can close your eyes. If you'd like, you can turn off the lights. Find what works for you. And then start at the top of the head. Focus on clenching every muscle in your face, your eyebrows, your nose, your mouth, your cheeks, your chin. Scrunch it all up tight. Feel the relaxation between your brows and your eyes. Maybe at this point you actually take your palms and gently rest them on your eyeballs. I know this sounds weird, but it works for me. <laughs> just resting your palms and your eyes to push them back into sockets. Do not actually push. Just rest them and slowly, slowly lift them. Make sure you're telling your jaw or loose in your mouth. Tongue should not be locked at the top of your mouth. Jaw should be slightly open. And the neck and the shoulders. Scrunch the shoulders up. Scrunch your hands and arms. Tighten all the arms and shoulders. And then release. Focus on releasing your shoulders. Fingers. Feel each fingertip as it's touching on the ground. And maybe your hands are facing up. Feel the back of your hands. Each point of the arms, the shoulder blade should be the back of them. Maybe you need some adjustment here. Maybe you do need to do that. Now we're going to do the glutes. Tighten the top of your legs. Tighten your glutes. Tighten the front of your legs. Your knee caps. Pull them up. Tighten your feet. Roll those feet in the ball. Tighten everything. Maybe now you feel your systems and you need to adjust. Now wiggle anything that you think needs to relax. And after your breath, maybe you put your hand on your stomach and warm your heart. You might be just staying up to us. Focus on your breathing. And I'll give you one more reading. Angus said, we're good at drawing lines through spaces between stars, like we're pattern finders. And we'll find patterns. And we really put our hearts and minds into it, even if we don't need to. So believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. B said, My entire life feels like running after something that keeps moving way into the distance while I stay in the same place. Later in the game, it says, we devote ourselves to something we barely understand, something we can never touch. We give it a name, and we give ourselves a name for doing so. All of this creates a connection, and that connection, that becomes the thing that we can touch. Nothing is going to save us forever, 
but a lot of things can save us today. Take a few more quiet breaths here. Allow your body to fully relax and take in the benefits of your mind. If your mind starts to wander, accept the thoughts and let them float away like they're on the river. Your mind may never be still, but by not dwelling on thoughts, you may find a little more peace. Continue to breathe. Slowly, gently, begin to wake up. Bring some motion back into your fingers and toes. Maybe rolling the wrists and ankles. Bring your hands up into a full body stretch. And you walk your head back and forth. Really stretch. Waking up. Pull your knees into your chest one more time. Thanking yourself before rolling onto the inside. Find stillness here. And then slowly come back into the seat. Maybe roll the shoulders back one more time. Your eyes can be closed, you can set a gentle gaze forward. We're going to thank our bodies for this great practice. By taking your arms and the inhale, raising them up. Exhale, lower your hands down, and then one more time, inhale up. 
Exhale, bring those hands to heart center. Inhale here. Big exhale. As you raise your hands to your forehead, thank yourself for doing this practice. Thank yourself for being here on the mat for the last hour. The world is still out there, and you're still here. I hope this finds you more prepared for what's out there. And I hope to see you again in another yoga session. We implore and thank each other for this practice. Namaste. Thank you inhale and exhale. <sighs> Thanks, guys. This was fantastic. It's good to see you all again. And I hope that we can practice again in the future. I'll let the rest of the end credits roll as you guys come back up. Let me know if you have any questions, and if not, I'll post again on Facebook when I have my next session. I'm feeling like it might be Steven Universe. Thanks, you guys. It's good to see you on here. Alright, first one design signing out for next time. Take care guys.